Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Because that's what angry uh, grandmas do here. So there she goes. She has no clue what's going on around here. I don't even know how she even got into this area, to be honest with you. This really should be uh, quarantined off by the police. But, uh, you know, grandma, where there's a will, there's a way. Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and we are ready for another disaster. So, we had a poll from the last episode, which by the way, if you missed that, Mr. Brick Riggs Bob has come to Tiny Town, and he's getting his revenge on Komodo Gaming here, the mayor. Oh, let's go ahead and scoot this forward real quick, that way you guys can get a, a good view there. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So. He's back, if you missed it, top right corner, but we held a poll there, and we wanted to vote on which thing we were going to do next here in Doomsday City, and you guys voted on bank robbery slash police chase. So, I was actually kind of surprised by this. I really thought we were going to be doing either a volcano or a meteor strike, but you guys voted, and that's what won, so we're going to go ahead, do a bank robbery. Now, question is, where shall we do this? I kind of have a nice little slate through here. I'm thinking the bank might be on a corner. So maybe this intersection here, maybe right through here. We'll put a bank. We'll do like a, uh, a robbery in progress. And I'm thinking we're going to do two groups of criminals. One's going to still be at the bank. And one's going to be being chased from the bank in I don't know which direction, but we'll pick one. So we're going to be doing that here today. Do comment below if your disaster is not in the top right poll for the next episode. Because I like hearing your guys' feedback. You guys are awesome with the series. But yeah, we're doing that here today. Thank you guys for all the love and support on Tiny Town. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button helps out my channel and let's do this okay so here we go we need to find a bank I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in town you know I think the bank might look similar to the City Hall what does the City Hall look like exactly I think the City Hall is actually that building so maybe the bank could be that looks more really like a court does it not huh what does that look like that's close that maybe could pass off as a bank hold on toss that over there Let's see, we use this for the city hall, which, eh, that might not even be a bank either. Alright, I'm thinking, it's between, you know, I can't use the town hall building again. And I don't want it to be a huge bank. This kind of looks like a court. Uh, you know, let's stick this out here real quick. What if this was the, uh, well, this thing's kind of big, isn't it? Okay, hold on, let's back up real quick. You know, that could definitely pass off as a bank, so what if that bank was setting right right there okay so that would be our bank now i do think they have signage for this so let me find that real quick we'll see how this fits and we'll do our final decision if we're going to use this all right so we do have some bank signage you know this isn't too bad here i think this is actually going to work so here's your bank kind of looks like a courthouse but you know banks and courthouses uh, in the big city here probably don't look too much different Trying to think if I like the placement here. I'm, I'm thinking I like this. So obviously, what I need to do real quick, because I don't want to just do just the bank scene here. We got to have some buildings around it. So this is kind of still a tourist area. And this, I would say, is medium commercial. So I need some semi-big buildings. Plus, I have some plans for these buildings, too, uh, that we're going to do. All right. So they are in the middle of constructing right beside the bank. So... I think I might use this. Maybe this was the way the, uh, maybe the robbers can be construction workers. That was their disguise to get into the bank. That's actually not a bad idea. Do they have some construction vehicles here? Please tell me they do. Do they not? It's roads. There we go. Yes. This is all making sense now. They use that as a disguise to rob the bank. So we're going to be using construction vehicles. What do these look like? Oh, yeah. Maybe they're loading up the money in the back of the truck. Okay, I got plans here. This is getting me excited. I think I know what I'm doing, but not really. But still, this is going to work. This is going to be like a big confusion thing. Because the cops are not going to know which construction workers to arrest since they're all over here. Alright, so we're setting up a little construction scene here. You can see people are actually reacting to what's going on. Like this guy's pointing down the street. That guy over there. Some of these people are still kind of somewhat doing their job. You know, these construction sets are really nice. I like these. We might have to do a, some sort of construction disaster. I don't know if they have a crane or not. I didn't think I saw one. Uh, but yeah, 
So we're going to have two teams. One team is going to be the team in disguise, and then we'll have some traditional robbers too. Uh, but this is what they're using to load up the money. Now, question is, if this is one of the getaway vehicles that's going to be piled full of money, which I'll have to do that here in a second, how did they do it? Did they come out the front with the money? Is there a back to this building? Hmm, there really isn't. I don't wonder if they blew a hole in the side of the bank. That's very possible. All right, so we got a couple more buildings here. Actually, I downloaded this cool parking garage uh, from the uh, from the workshop. Actually, I want to scale that. Can I scale it down just a little bit? There we go. All right, so we're going to have police. are going to be stationed probably on top of the parking garage, and maybe we'll have some SWAT team members check in the front of the building. So I did decide we're going to go ahead. Let's turn off snapping real quick because this needs to be backed up as close as possible to the bank. So, they are going to be loading the money this way. I thought about making like an explosion in the back, but then it kind of takes away from the front of the scene where I want the action to be happening. So, we got our getaway, well one of our getaway vehicles, this is the one that's still loading up the money. But, this is a robbery gone wrong, so people are going to be running, stuff's going to be going crazy. Actually, let's go, let's get our money real quick. I'm pretty sure, uh, let's see, I think I saw some money piles check that out that's some sweet cash right there all right oh that's such a small piece all right let's zoom in uh let's get all the way here there we go all right so they thought they were going to get away with this they were going to just stack money all through here all right we've got a lot of work to do here let's go ahead and we're going to start sticking all this this was the the way to get the money out they thought they were going to stick it in the dirt and obviously uh some things have gone wrong but still Alright, so we've added a little bit more here. I like to give you guys these little progress updates. That way I don't miss anything towards the end of the episode. So I think this street, as far as the clutter and the construction site, I would say is done. I've added a couple more items here. Uh, so basically, you've got this truck full of money. Of course, they're spilling out money. Pure chaos. Uh, we'll have, of course, the buildings over here. It's so weird because we're like in between disasters like you can see the tornado on that side and stuff flying through the air And then Bob's attacking just over there, but if you look way off in the distance, you can see the tsunami. That's crazy All right, so it is time to get some cop cars in here and set this off All right, here we go with the cop cars We're gonna go ahead and just spawn in quite a few here because I don't know how many cops this city actually has because it's like ridiculous How many cop cars I think I've placed throughout this thing? All right, so let's okay. So with the buildings there probably would have one turn there uh, Let's turn one here. This one. This one's trying to block in the uh, block in the robbers there their car So you got these over here This one's gonna be on this side. Okay, we're gonna need more than this. Come on snapping. There we go All right, Let's go one two uh, One on the back side One will probably be down the street here trying to block it off. Let's get another car there uh, there's gonna be cops everywhere. They have already pretty much surrounded this bank. So there we go. All right, so we got the cops. SWAT team's gonna be here. So SWAT team normally arrives after the cops. So they're gonna be stationed down here. We got two teams, and there we go. Okay, let's get that. You know, I need one more cop. I said I was gonna put somebody on top of this parking garage. So this cop, he drove. Up here and they're they have like a little staging area up here there we go cool all right that looks good as far as the cop cars now of course some civilians I mean there's probably some civilians that were kind of stuck in the middle probably abandoned their cars so I'll need to stick some of those down uh, maybe during all the chaos we had like a car crash back here so let's get a couple cars here and here oh that one it blew up there we go all right, so cop cars got a little small crash down there. Okay, I think we are ready for SWAT team members, which of course, if you watched my last episode, you know I actually downloaded weapons to use here. So the cops are going to be surrounding this place. And what I'm basically going to do here, you're going to have normal cops. You'll have the SWAT teams. I think one SWAT team is going to be positioned maybe here. Maybe we'll have like a sniper on the roof there, uh, possibly on the parking garage too. So... Uh, what I'm gonna do, I just basically have to put a lot of cops in the uh, the posing form, and then we'll go distribute the weapons here. So let's go ahead and put that snapping on. So this cop's gonna be back here. Oh yeah, this is gonna work out beautiful. All right, so we got some officers placed down. Now, what scene would not be complete, at least a bank robbery scene, without some helicopters in the area? 
Do they have a dedicated police chopper? I guess you could say the blue one might be one. Yeah, I don't really think they do, do they? Okay, so the blue chopper, this is going to be a police one. We might be able to have a, uh, maybe a SWAT sniper hanging out the side. Yeah, they're going to be in pretty low. And then up here, we'll have some news choppers. So maybe we'll pull one over here, uh, back out, and we'll put one over here. They got to stay a little bit more away from the area. But hold on, let's put our little uh, SWAT sniper in here. Okay, so let's go back down to people. And let's see, let's grab, which one are we grabbing here? Okay, we're gonna grab this dude. We're gonna turn off clipping. There we go. All right, so if he's in like a, uh, a pose here, he's gonna be kind of hanging off. He's gonna have his rifle in one hand. He's not gonna be like actually in the shooting uh, motion right now. He needs to be shrunk down a little bit, I think. There we go. Uh, does that look right? Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Actually, he probably, his head needs to be turned more this way. Because he's looking down actually at the scene. That looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, it is time to distribute some weapons. So, we got a team down here. Actually, I forgot about our uh, trusty sniper up here. Uh, let's see. Let's put him in the kneeling position here. There we go. Put his arms up. What if he was right there? Probably. I believe that works. All right. So everybody is currently equipped with weapons as far as law enforcement. So you can see the teams in here. Uh, over here, the one that kind of blocked off the uh, the truck here. You got two buddies helping each other out over here. Okay. So time for our robbers. Now, the second team of robbers that got away were actually waiting at the bank. They were true robbers. The people who started the whole mess were the ones in disguise as construction workers. So, yeah, this is going to be a lot of confusion amongst the cops here. Uh, wait, construction? Yeah, construction workers here, robbers over there. Okay, I don't remember which order I was doing this in. All right, so we got our bank robbers here. This guy's kind of crouched behind the, uh, the fountain, taking cover. These guys are still desperately trying to load up money. So you see the one guy getting ready to hand the money off to him, and they're putting it in the truck here. Which this guy's just panicking. You got weapons. This guy's got like a little shotgun uh, on his back. So, we need uh, one iconic character that we have not added this episode because we love to add her. She's everybody's sweet old lady. It's Oblivious Grandma. Guess what she's doing? She's having problems with her bank card over here and she's, uh, she's getting angry at the ATM machine. She's probably cursing at it. Because that's what angry uh, grandmas do here. So there she goes. She has no clue what's going on around here. I don't even know how she even got into this area, to be honest with you. This really should be uh, quarantined off by the police. But, uh, you know, grandma, where there's a will, there's a way. All right, so this scene is continuing. I've added some more buildings. Just try to make the area look a little bit more busier. Uh, I guess the last thing we really need to do for the bank robber portion, there's still some more like clutter items I'd like to add, like some little benches around here and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll get back to that. Oh, there was a crane. Dude, why is that not in I don't understand that. That's not in construction. Dude, that is cool looking. Hold on, we gotta have a crane out here. Uh-oh, the snapping's going a little bit crazy. Come on, game. It's okay, I can place this down here, please. Maybe we'll stick it at the corner. Oh, jeez, it just got massive. I didn't know you can make stuff that big in the game. That thing's bigger than the city now. What the heck, tiny town? All right, bank scene is complete. We got to edit some more cars. I got that crane in place. Everything's good to go here. Now, question is, hmm, which way did the robbers go? All right, so obviously there's police rushing uh, down the scene over here, but I think they're actually, uh, they're dealing with Bob over there. So, if the criminals were going somewhere, I'm thinking the police chase should be on this street here. They're heading towards the tornado, which is actually going away uh, from this area, so they're going to run into some problems here. But I think this is a good street since we really haven't, we have the buildings on the street, but we really haven't populated the street with anything. So, they're going to be probably, hmm, cops have arrived, gotten in position. They'd probably be a lot further. You know, maybe they were trying to sneak out of here and then the cops at the last moment spotted them and now the pursuit is on. So, what would be the pursuit vehicle? Maybe a van. 
Maybe they were in a van. They were loading some of the money up in uh, the disguised construction vehicle. So they're going to be in this red van here. And you know what? They're going to be in the middle of the road. Uh, let's go a little closer to this. There we go. And we're going to have a ton of squad cars behind them here. Actually, I have a little bit better idea. Is there like a jump or something? Maybe they could be in the middle of a crash. Uh, we'll see here. All right, so we've been uh, kind of hard at work here. We got some good stuff going. There's a lot of people on the street. They're just observing the police chase coming this way. But I think the robbers are attempting to go through the debris path of the tornado here because they think they can lose the police there, which is probably a, a decent option. So you can see people, this, uh, this guy kind of looks like a criminal. He's cheering them on. Uh, this guy's taking a picture with his camera phone. People are pointing out uh, what's going on. Some people are running away from the scene. And then here we are. We got our criminals, and they're hanging out, uh, firing at the police. They're losing money. Money's flying through the air. Very cool stuff here. This guy, he's pumped up because that guy's pumped up. So it's kind of a little bit of a, I guess, a, a bro thing or something. And then you got all the cop cars behind them. Now, there probably should be at least one air plane I almost said airplane not airplane there probably should be oh there's a lot of cool fighter jets here dang we had to use those but yeah, oh that was not what I wanted to do we're gonna put one of these in pursuit so they're gonna be flying nice and low we got a lot of helicopters today dang that's cool looking all right so yeah they're fleeing the scene the cops are over there these guys out there are gonna get away they might have an option do you think these guys are gonna get away there in the debris of the tornado all right, so let's go ahead. We're going to pull up here. Let's see what we did today. Let's go ahead and make it really small. And let's get down here. <laughs> all right, so as far as what we did here today, this all through here, that is a mega parking garage, by the way. But it looks right to scale to the cars. So maybe it's just like a really huge parking garage. Almost takes up an entire block. So all of this is new. All the way to the construction site to about right here. And then of course last episode was the Bob and the City Hall over there. So I've got a little corner I need to fill in here. And i got to build around City Hall. So what do you guys think should happen next as far as the land layout? Like I know we need like a harbor at some point. Uh, we've got farm stuff like eventually we're gonna work a little bit away from the big city Maybe have some neighborhoods all around here So you've got like your little houses and you can see into the big city and another thing we really need to start using Which I don't know how to utilize them yet. We do have actual uh, Oh, no wrong one. Let's go to the buildings real quick We do have some real buildings. We got like the White House here the Statue of Liberty What would the Statue of Liberty look like out here? But that actually it probably would need to be on an well is that actually the way Ellis Island is the little uh, points or is there a landmass around it what would that look like I don't know out here just uh yeah stuff like that we need to use that so if you guys have any ideas how to utilize that but yeah uh, we'll do I think we'll continue the L here with the big city and then we're gonna work our way back so we'll need disasters like uh, maybe even stuff that pertains to like smaller buildings I don't know how we would work that in we'll find a way to do it but yeah let's go ahead we're gonna swoop down one more time go through I think we're gonna wrap it up for this episode here today because we actually did a lot and this was uh not a lot as far as a big scale but this is really detailed so of course you got the construction site all the mass confusion the little crash here happening the shootout and the bank robbery you got the snipers in position helicopter sniper uh, news choppers all around very cool stuff walking off the streets here traffic jams and then of course we did the epic police chase down here with all the people all on the side of the streets. You know, it would be kind of weird if people were like, hey, look at the police chase. Yet behind them, it's like, hey, there's like a big tornado uh, literally destroying the city. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Do comment below with what you want to see next here in Tiny Town. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.